most fun shoe to play in 2018, new silhouettes of 2018. Number three, ever wanted a shoe where you could go casually, play, and still wear it to the club? Well, number three has it, the Adidas Marquee Boost Low. I did not want this colorway. Let's get that straight. This is two Lakers colorway for me. I want the black and red colorway, but I was not able to get it. So I decided to get with these so I could get started because I want to include this in my 2018 list because this release in 2018, wait, 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 my baby's crying. Because this released in 2018. This was a modification from the Adidas top 10 model with the changes. Like they should, they should just have called this top 10 Pro Tro in my opinion, because this is the top 10 model. With the difference of it being a low top, they also sell in the high tops, but I prefer the low tops. But I tried the high tops and they did not feel that different. This is my number three for the most fun shoe to play in 2018. Uh, performance review on this will be coming up in a, in a few weeks, but this, bro, comfortability, play-wise, like, bro, Marky Boost 2018. Number two most fun shoe to play with on 2018 would have to be the Adidas Harden 3s. Bro, this shoe was so fun to play with. Like, you feel really fast with this shoe. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. Like, because of how it's formed, and I do believe the propulsion plate has something to do with it. Like, I don't know, it just feels different than the other torsional plate Adidas has on their other shoes. Now, there may be a name change or whatever, but I do believe and I feel a difference. So that's why I'm sticking with my gut on it. It just feels different. Like this shoe makes you feel really fast, really low cut, has support, has everything. And like I said, bro, like this shoe is really good. Really, really good. And really fun to play with. This has a chance to fight for that number one spot. But for that number one spot, I will explain to you Coming up next, the number one spot for the most fun to play with shoe in 2018, the Adidas Next Levels. So, why do I say this is really fun? And why am I including this in 2018? It's because it originally released December 1st. I was not able to get the December 1st release, but two weeks after, not a lot of people were talking about it. Not a lot of uh, feeds were being mentioned. I just checked on Adidas site and they said that we're gonna release again. The next day, I ordered one from StockX, so I messed up. Yes, I did, but this was the one that I got from Adidas. And bro, I even got this for a sale. Like, I got this for a buck 40 instead of a buck 80. So, that was number one. The price was really down when I got it. Uh, the reason being, it was because I had a, a, a discount code. But the reason being why this is so fun. One, it's really, really light. When you get the shoe, Compare it to whatever lightest shoe you got on your on your wall, whatever, on your shelves or on your cabinet, wherever you store your shoes. This shoe is really light. Like, damn. Like, I know midsole looks thick, but bro, trust me, it looks really light. Number two, besides it being the most innovative shoe, no laces, bro. So guess what? When you're in the basketball court with no laces, everybody gonna be asking you, what shoe is those? Those boxing shoes, are those are those even basketball shoes? How how are you gonna tighten that up? Like, bro, but trust me, this shoe is really fun. It, the, the reaction of people is just really funny as well. So, how it plays, how it supports, how light it is, how the light strike performs in a unique way that you've never had, is just, that's why I had, I had to pick this for my number one most fun shoe to play with in 2018. The Adidas Next Levels. Trust me, if you get the chance, get this shoe. I know I haven't made a performance review yet, but get this shoe, man. Get this shoe. Make sure it's a snug fit on you. If you're a usual 8.5 or 8.5 in Adidas, go with that. If it's a little bit loose, just try to wear cushion socks. Believe me, bro. Believe me. Adidas Next Levels. They are next level. Last category. Finally, we're here. 
I know your list will not be the same as mine, but this is my personal one. You guys just have to hear me out. And my list will never be the same as yours because this is personal preference. And for you guys to have a general idea of what shoe you may want to cop if you haven't had any of these shoes yet, what shoes you may want to cop for 2019 um, because these shoes will probably be on sale uh, for this year. So let me finish my glass champagne because I've been making this video for two hours already trying to get the shoes that I need and all that but I'm probably sure this would be like a less than 20 minute video I hope you guys are enjoying it so far as I am but this this list you guys will have to fight me over this number five on my best Performance shoe of 2018 would have to be. God damn it. I was just playing with it. Ah, oh, shit. Kobe AD 2018. A lot of people have bad experience with the shoe. I did not. They were saying traction was slippery, was, was slipping. I wasn't. They were saying the cushion was not there. I felt it. They're saying the upper was a cheap material. It is, but it does its function. So I don't see where the problem is. The only, it's not really a problem. It's a suggestion I would do. And the reason why it's at number five would have to be just a little bit four foot uh, zoom bag, man. Like, you know, that would have been, this would have easily been in my top three if it had that zoom bag, because I know it's felt I know it's just mesh, I know it's just neoprene underneath, but hey, if it works well, I'm gonna say it works well. So traction was there, cushion, although no zoom bag in the forefoot, it has zoom bag in the heel, um, doesn't have injected phylon, it was still working for me. Uh, upper, fit me like a glove. No other way to describe it, this shoe, this is my number five. Best performance shoe of 2018. Oh, by the way, for all the shoes that I've been talking about, if I did have a review on them, it will be in the link uh, down below. I'll be listing them all one by one. If you guys wanna see your reviews for each of the shoes that I am talking about here, as long as I have it. So, Kobe AD 2018, number five, best performance shoe of 2018. Next would be a late comer. Uh, for 2018. I don't know why I did why Adidas did this, but These came in December 1st and they were not shipping They were not arriving at people's homes until like the 20th of December or 15th of December Whatever, but it was the lower half of December When it released the first so I don't know Adidas better fix your shipping Whatever, but this is number four on my list Marquee boost the reason being traction of these Heavenly. I loved it. I loved traction on these. Uh, very wide foot friendly, although I am not wide foot. And that's the reason why I made this uh, number three fun shoe of the year as well, is because it's very comfortable, man. Like the tongue, the tongue on these. I know I haven't made a review yet, but if I do, I'm gonna point out everything, uh, everything that makes this shoe so fun and so comfortable and so playable. Like, Comfortable. Number one word to describe the shoe, comfortable and it plays well because of the traction. Boost, you already know what Boost does. Number four, Marquee Boost 2018. I know it doesn't have 2018, but Marquee Boost. Number three best performing shoe for 2018, Harden 3s. I already explained, bro. You feel fast. Best Boost implementation, in my opinion. Just watch my performance review. That's all I gotta say. Just watch my performance uh, review link. Down is below for the Adidas Harden 3s. Harden 3. Number 3, best performing shoe of the year. Number 2 would have to be the Adidas Next Levels. I know not a lot of people have this shoe yet, but it really likes. I don't wanna repeat myself. Release December 1st. That's why I'm including it in this list. Shoes very light. Bro. 
how can you not like these? Like, this, it looks like this, and it supports you like crazy. Lockdown is stupid crazy. Really light. Light on your feet. Traction, that may be the only downfall for this shoe. If the traction of these were the same as these, bro, bro, that would be the end of it. No discussion, this would be the number one. So like I said, light strike, like when you squish it, it feels as soft, very, very close to boost, but the return on it feels really, really close to bounce. So when you combine those two, two elements to what I'm describing about this midsole, bro, this shoe is just hella fun to play with. I'm not saying I'm Kyrie, but I'm a little bit shifty. And this for this shoe to, to hold up side to side movement wise, like this shoe, number two, number two, 2018 performance shoe of the year. Lastly, my number one performance shoe of the year, I'd have to give it to the Kyrie Fives, man. Like, woo, Nike. Thank you. Thank you for giving us a Kyrie that has not only a zoom bag, but an articulated zoom bag. Traction, no matter what court you're in, man. Slippery, not dusty, clean, wet, whatever, bro. Harry Five Traction, perfect. Although this has Phylon, and initially I thought this would be like the Kyrie Threes, like stiff as hell. It actually broke in. Although I wish this would have been uh, Krishlon, same as the uh, Kyrie Fours, but it wasn't. But we all can't get what we want. Articulated zoom bag. No matter what direction your foot is in the forefoot area, you would feel that zoom bag, bro. Upper, stiff at first, but after breaking in, molds your foot and customizable strap. That's what I love about this the most is because no room for your foot side to side wise, like there is no loose area. So the foot is just supported, has that perfect lockdown four foot wise. The heel counter and the Achilles pillows are on point. Bro, number one, this shoe makes me feel like a beast when I'm on court. Like, I don't care who I'm facing. I don't care if I feel right or not on that day. If I'm wearing this shoe, just be ready, man. That's, that's all I got to say. Just be ready because I will be on my A game. I will try to be on my A game all the time. Even if I'm missing my shots, fuck it. I'll still move around like I did 100 shots over you already. Like, this shoe makes you feel fast. The energy return is just really good. The support and lockdown, perfect. Like, all across the board. All across the board, bro. Traction, cushion, support, lockdown, fit, Kyrie Fives. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my 2018, in-year 2018 review. Whew. 2018 was crazy. 2019 will be crazier. New shoes, new techs. Hopefully, real innovations. But, bro, thank you guys. I, I really want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for your support. Like, especially the Word Testers family have been helping me out since uh, a little bit back a year ago or 2016. Not just to them, but to everybody else that um, followed me on Instagram, on my Facebook, and on my YouTube channel who subscribed to me. Thank you guys. I, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, prosperous, and successful 2019. And I hope you guys stick with me. I will try to make 2019 better. I will do my best. I will do my best. That's all I can promise is I will do my best. Uh, with the time I have, the restrictions I have, everything, everything. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for your support. And I will see you guys soon. Peace out.